Hi, Christ Presbyterian Church Music Row family. I wanted to say hello and, uh, and bring you some news about our recent developments for Sunday morning. You know, our city has been through a lot. Between the devastation with tornadoes that have impacted many parts of Nashville and surrounding areas, and now to the coronavirus, which has really contained us within our homes and, and kept us from large gatherings and other things that we're used to. Now, we recently sent you an email giving you our plans for this Sunday morning. And for now, we're suspending our in-person gatherings and, and all programming for the time being. We will be live streaming, though, however, our, uh, a worship service at 10 a.m. from the Old Hickory location. And this live stream will be up on ChristPres.org, our website. It'll be up throughout the week and as well as on our, our Facebook page. I'd love for all of you to tune in on Sunday morning at 10 a.m., just as you would for any Sunday uh, showing up for worship service, that we can continue to gather together. I'm thankful that in even these times we have this sort of medium where we can still worship and gather together even through technology. Uh, Lyric Fesco from the Old Hickory location will be preaching. I will be leading liturgy. And Russ Ramsey from our Cool Springs location and Scott Sauls from Old Hickory will be participating as well. You know, when you receive this email, I hope you take some time to really take it in, soak in it, and uh, familiarize yourself with it. It takes an opportunity to discuss our thoughts and as well as links and other things on the coronavirus and as well as kind of our steps that we are taking towards the uh, immediate future of what we're going to be doing as a church. And after much thought and wise decision, you know, we, we've really taken this in. Um, we've really uh, thought about what is needed as a church, and as we've talked about it with medical professionals and other church friends in our city, we've really decided that this is the best response for us as a church. I know it's difficult and hard. It's definitely hard for me not to be able to meet with you and be with you. Uh, as it will be for you with me and others. But uh, we want to be wise and loving about how we take care of you and our neighbors and to care for our neighbors and love them well. You know, medical professionals call this effort flattening the curve of the virus, which really is the effort to slow the spread and so that doctors and hospitals can effectively treat it. And, And we as a church want you to love your neighbors and your family well by being cautious doing what's right in this time. Even sacrificing may be uh, gathering physically together, but now sacrificing in other ways so that we can love our neighbors and love one another well. But I really would love for us in this time too to take up praying together as a location. And actually let's commit to pray together now and and be in a season of of deep prayer for the Lord to be kind and in this virus for there to be uh, medical help and professionals for those who have been infected and and for us to really um, gather together as Christians uh, in in our homes even uh, to pray and address this virus as, as a body. You know, Jesus in Matthew chapter 6 when he's giving the Sermon on the Mount, he speaks to the people about not being anxious and he's not necessarily giving a command so much as he's giving a comfort. When he talks about not being anxious, he compares um, us to the birds of the, of the air and the lilies of the field. He says, if God cares so much to clothe those, um, those lilies of the field and, and to feed the birds of the air, how much more does he care for us? It's not a question of um, are we valuable. It's a question of that we are so infinitely loved, kept, and valuable by our Lord and even sent so much that he sends his own son into that anxiety and the troubles so that we can make sense of them together. He's with us in them uh, to be cautious, uh, not to live in fear, but to live in wisdom and caution and walk together uh, in the Lord. I hope that you tune in this Sunday and join us to get, join together with us in the, streaming our worship at 10 a.m. at ChristPres.org, as well as on our Facebook page. We'll be active again throughout the week. And I look forward to worshiping together with you this Sunday. Thanks.